Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, welcome back to your English class. Bienvenidos a su clase de inglés. So, let's get started. Let's not waste time. Iniciamos ya la clase, all right? What do you do? Today, we're going to continue working on section three, all right? Because we haven't finished yet. No hemos terminado todavía. But it's 100% sure that today we're going to finish, all right? Es, hay 100% de probabilidad que este día vamos a terminar la sección 3 completamente. Así mañana trabajamos despacio en el midterm exam, all right? Ustedes, si pueden avanzar, you can do it. Pueden hacerlo, all right? No hay ningún problema. So, what do you do? Class number seven. Do you remember, se recuerdan? Mention at least three places that you learned last class. Tres lugares que aprendíamos la clase pasada, right? Era un vocabulario que estaba en un cuadrito amarillo. Esos eran los places. So, let me ask, le vamos a preguntar a Jennifer Marisol, please. Tell me three. Hospital, office, uh -huh. store, y hotel. Hotel. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Jennifer. Hey, listen up, everyone. Antes de continuar, no, no les costó mucho entrar a la clase, no les afectó. No, a mí en lo personal no, rápido entré. A mí tampoco. A mí tampoco, teacher. Excelente, me alegro. Sí, porque estaba viendo que en otros grupos les había costado un poquito más eh, por las actualizaciones de Zoom, pero que bueno, gracias a Dios que aquí no les costó. Right. Pero igual vemos bien poquitos, teacher, solo seis sabemos. Eso estaba viendo, fíjese. Creo que Pero también, acabado. también, querida Jennifer, puede ser por la lluvia que está, está tan fuerte, horrible. Right. Entonces, probablemente por eso a algunas personas le falla la señal o no alcanzan a llegar a tiempo a la casita. Ok, so let's go with always the same one. Continuamos con la misma pregunta, right? Ya Jennifer nos decía in a hospital in an office and in a hotel, very good. Bueno, como vimos poquito vocabulary de ese, lo voy a dejar hasta ahí. Vamos a la número dos. Mention at least three activities that you recall. Tres actividades de las que usted recuerdan. Las activities estaban a la par de eh, los places, si se recuerdan, right? So let me ask Yvette, tell me three activities, please. Uh, where's a uniform? Uh -huh. Talks to people. Yes. And um, works at night. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Let me ask Oscar. Aha, Oscar, dígame otras tres, please. Permitan que la tenía apuntada. Yes, very good. Está bien, lo esperamos. No sé si me he encontrado aquí. No, teacher, no las encontré. Perdón. All right. Don't worry. Thank you. No se preocupe, Oscar. Let's check another one. Veamos a alguien más. What about uh, Yolanda? Can you help me with that? Me ayuda con ese vocabulary? No, uh, rice ticket. Uh -huh, rice ticket. Excellent. It stands all day. Mm -hmm. Stands all day. Uh, talks to people. Talks to people. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Yolanda. That's correct. All right. Listen up. We have more than only those, right? Teníamos más que esas tres que han mencionado eh, Yolanda e Yvette. Mi consejo para ustedes siempre va a ser tomen anotaciones, all right? No se lo tomen a la ligera y piensen, ah, como yo ya estoy grande, pues me la voy a memorizar, no la voy a anotar. No. All right. El cerebro humano tiende a aprender de mejor manera 
cuando escuchamos, oímos y escribimos, cuando escuchamos, vemos y escribimos, all right? Es decir, es una de las skills que por ende vamos a desarrollar el escribir. Así que mi consejo siempre va a ser que tomen anotaciones, right? Now, let's check the following. Ayer practicaron algunos de ustedes con esto. Por ejemplo, practicó Ernesto, practicó Yvette, creo. All right, or Jennifer, I think so. So, let's check. Do I have any other volunteer for today's class? Tengo otro voluntario para la clase de ahora? Let me see. Yo te Thank you. Where do you work? Where do you where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do you they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does what does he do? What does he do? What do we, what they do? What do they do? Excellent. Do Thank they. you, Oscar. Very good. Excellent effort. A felicito por su esfuerzo. Very good. Now, let's check. Algunos de los que no estuvieron ayer o quizás sí estuvieron, pero no pasaron. Uh, let's have Julio Guillón, please. All right, let's play go, Julio. No sé si vio la, la, la recording del día de ayer, la clase del día de ayer. Pero esta parte va, de, va lento. Where do you work? Y en esta parte, usted va a unir el auxiliary con el sujeto. Where do you work? All right? Tiene que ir despacio primero y luego la versión rápida. Action. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does it work? Where the... Where the ¿Cómo sería que...? Where do they... Dash? Where does she work? Where does she work? No, lo que pasa es que el, el, su, el auxiliar does está unido con el he. Pero sigue sonando, where does he work? ¿Dónde trabaja él? Ok. Uh -huh. Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do you do? Where do you do? Where does she do? What does she do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Excellent, thank you, right? Por ahí escuché que me dijo she y en ninguna de estas prácticas tenemos el she, all right? Recuerden, voy a sacar el spotlight para señalárselos, okay? Si aquí dice, what does he do? Aquí no va a decir, what does she do? No tiene sentido porque aquí estamos utilizando he. Por ende, como esta es la versión rápida de esto, tiene que decir, what does he do? What does he do? All right? Siempre estamos hablando de él, de la persona del género masculino. All right? Lo mismo para esto. Where does he work? Where does he work? La versión lenta. Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? All right? Now, let's have, ahora vamos con Karen Castro, please, action. Okay, where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Sería, where does work? Ah, siempre sería, does he? Repite después de mí esto, does he? Does he? Does he? Does he? Vaya, me está diciendo sí, tiene que ser he, does he. Como si usted dijera does eso, he. mire, does, does he. Oh, where does he work? Mm -hmm. Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? Y what does he do? What do they do y what do they do? All right, excellent. Thank you, Karen. Now, everyone, please remember, recuerden, and I'm, I hope not to say this in the rest of the course, all right? Se pronuncia do, all right? No podemos decir do, es do, 
Y yo sé, teacher, mire, nos cuesta porque la pregunta ya. I got you, all right? Yo los comprendo completamente. Yo vengo de lo, yo he pasado por ese proceso, right? Una carrera dura seis años aprendiendo de lo mismo porque uno tiene que equivocarse constantemente. And that's good. Y eso es bueno. Pero tenemos que aprender de esos mistakes, de esos errores, all right? No dejarlos al aire. So, there you are. Now let's check the conversation. Simple present WH questions. Conversation, he works in a hotel. Okay, let's check this. Tenemos a Rachel y a Angela. Um, hmm. Bueno, por lo mismo de la pronunciación, le voy a poner primero el video, mejor. Así llevamos doble práctica. Okay, let's pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form WH questions. Additionally, you... do you listen the audio? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you. We'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present questions. Let's analyze the examples on the chart. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. In order to form simple present WH questions, we will follow. Okay, as I told you in the beginning, we are just watching the videos for the pronunciation, right? Because the grammar part, I'm going to be on charge of. Vemos los videos más que todo para tener una segunda pronunciación. De la parte gramatical, yo siempre me encargo con ustedes al mostrarles los, las estructuras, ¿ok? Y al explicarles. So, let's make this video. We have Rachel and Angela. Where does your, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He is a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. Oh, that's too... Bueno, no tiene el O. Oh. Solo dice, that's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, listen up. If you understood this conversation, it was pretty funny. Si usted pudo prestar la atención a la traducción de la conversación, era bien gracioso, right? Y una vez más nos enseñan a no adelantarnos al hablar. So there you go. Let's check this. I'm going to need a volunteer. Necesito un voluntario o voluntaria, please, to practice with me. Only one, solo uno. Your teacher. Excellent. Usted va a ser Rachel, yo voy a ser Angela. Bueno. Action. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. 
that's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Very good, Erika. Thank you. Repeat after me. Interesting. Interesting. Yay. Excellent. Bravo, Rebecca. Thank you. Ok, now let's make the pairs. Hacemos las parejas. Vamos a tener a Moisés Reyes. Usted va a ser Rachel. Um, Rebecca Enríquez. Usted va a ser Angela. Action. Espérame, espérame. Teaching. Ok. Uh, ok. Eh... Yo soy Rachel, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Where do your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, uh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He is a front desk agent. How does he feel like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What do he do? Actually, he's the manager. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Now, and let me check. Rachel. Can it Rachel Moises, right? Repeat after me. Interesting. Interesting. Solamente eso, Moises. Thank you. Okay. Now, interesting. You're welcome. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente. I'm going to have Julio. Por aquí Julio Guillón, usted va a ser Rachel, Yvette, usted va a ser Angela. All right, action. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in the hotel too. He's from this agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, they're interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Wow, bravo. Yes, I'm astonishing. Make impresionar. Very good pronunciation, both of you. All right, excellent. Now, let's go with the next one. Nos felicito. Muy bonita pronunciación, right? Y la entonación de las preguntas y de las admiraciones, too. Excellent. Now, let's go with... Vamos con la siguiente pareja, que sería Jennifer Marisol. Usted es Rachel. Josué Granados. Usted sería Angela. Action. Where does your brother work? In a, in a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in hotel too. He's from the agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plus. That's fine. My brother work. 32. Oh, th thanks. Interesting. What does he do? He do? Actually, he the manager. All right, excellent. Thank you so much for your effort, guys. Let's practice some words. Repitamos algunas palabras. Iniciamos con Jennifer. Agent. Agent. Uh -huh. Agent. Y la otra sería... Usted era Rachel, ¿verdad? Sí. All right, all right. Bueno, solo esa era la de la me dijo do, pero después lo corrigió por do. Very good. So no problem, no hay problema. Vamos con Josué Granados. Repeat after me. That's 
bad. Too bad. Too bad. What hotel? What hotel? Does he work for? Does he work for? Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right. That's it. Thanks. Let's go with the next pair. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. Que sería Ernesto Portillo. Usted sería Angela. Oscar Leonel. Usted va a ser Rachel. Action. Where does your brother work? In hotel. Oh, really? My brother work in hotel. Two. He's from the agent. How do they like it? No, very much. He doesn't like manners. That's too bad. What hotel do you work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works day two. Oh, that's interesting. That do you he do? Actuality has the manager. All right, excellent. Thank you for your effort, right? Listen up, I'm going to say something. Siempre los voy a felicitar a todos por su esfuerzo, porque yo sé que no es, no es fácil, right? Arrancar y hacer una conversation. Y a veces sentimos que no lo manejamos, pero lo logramos. Así que excelente para todos. Vamos a ver, Oscar, repita después de mí. What does... What does... He do. He do. Mm -hmm. Exacto. What does he do? Excellent, ah, no. very good. Qué bueno que practicó la pregunta. Excelente. Vamos con Ernesto. Actually. Actually. Mm -hmm. He's the manager. He's manager. 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 Excellent, sir. Very good. Excelente. Thank you. Now, let's check this. Esa palabrita actually no se nos tiene que olvidar. De hecho, se escucha un par de pareja ahí que me dijeron actuality, all right? Y es actually. Actually no significa actualmente. All right? Actually significa en realidad. All right. Si alguien me dice, ay, this dress is pretty ugly. Este vestido está horrible. Actually, it looks good on you. En realidad se te ve bien. All right. Usted puede utilizar actually para muchísimas cosas en cualquier context. All right. Y va a ser siempre lo mismo en realidad. All right. Si alguien dice, it's not raining. Usted puede decir, actually, it's raining cats and dogs out there. En realidad está lloviendo sin parar afuera. All right. Decimos, utilizamos un idiom, una, como un dicho, right? Que utilizamos aquí en español. Nosotros les decimos dichos, ellos les dicen idioms. Y para ellos es como está lloviendo perros y gatos, right? Así sería en inglés. Cuando llueve demasiado fuerte. Y siempre utilizamos la palabra action. Repito, podemos utilizarlo para cualquier context. So let's have another one. Vamos con otra pareja. Let me have Karen Castro. You are Rachel and Yolanda, you are Angela. Action. We, okay. We, does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a fraud dex How do, How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's intestine. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Mrs. Okay, let me have Yolanda, usted era Angela, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, vamos a ver y con usted pasó. ¿Quién fue la que pasó? Karen, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes, okay, Karen, repita después de mí. 
Uh, oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? What does he do? He where? Where? Agent. 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 Very good. Thank you. Very good, Miss Castro. All right, that's it. Muchas gracias a ambas. Let's go with the next pair. Vamos con la siguiente pareja que sería Vanessa Scarlett. Usted sería Rachel. Y vamos a tener a Francisco Martínez. Veamos si le funciona el audio. Usted va a ser Angela. Action. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a friend ex agent. Well, does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't la like the manager. Does do but what hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother work there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he is the manager. Excellent. Thank you so much for your effort, Francisco. Once again, let's practice. Actually. Actually. Mm -hmm. All right, actually. Very good. Thank you, Francisco. Ok, vaya. Lo repito de nuevo, aunque ya le dije anteriormente cómo era la pronunciación, voy a volver a decirlo. Actually, no hay ninguna T al final, por eso no podemos decir actuality. Ni siquiera hay una T ahí. Estaríamos, estaríamos agregándole una letra que no le pertenece. Eso es lo primero. Y lo segundo es actually, ¿verdad? Right? Eh, podemos anotar la pronunciación así, miren. Mi check. Si sentimos que nos cuesta un poquitín, podemos anotarla like this. Actually. Right? Actually. All right. Actually. So there you go. That's pretty much it what we can do with that word. Let's move on to the following. Simple present WH questions. Where does, no, where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. <clears throat> what do they do? They are waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. Esta palabra, they hate it. Esta frase, perdón, o esta oración, they hate it significa lo odian, all right? So there you go. Hate es odiar. Esa es la palabra. La translation completamente. So let's go with the first one. Vamos a pedirle a Rebeca de Benavides. Usted pregunta. Beatriz Hueso, usted contesta. Action. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I am a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They are waiting. How do they like it? They hack it. Hi. Repeat, they hate it. They hate it. Excellent, very good. Thank you girls, very good intonation of the questions and answers. Let's have Vamos a dividirlo en tres partes, all right? Let me check. Andrea, usted va a preguntar la primera columna. Jennifer Marisol, usted contesta en la primera columna, all right? 
Luego en la segunda columna vamos a tener Ivette Aguirre, usted contesta, Oscar Leonel, usted, perdón, Ivette, usted pregunta en la segunda columna, Oscar, usted contesta, vayan anotando porque no voy a repetir esto, probablemente se me va a olvidar, <ríe> all right, so there you go, repito de nuevo, Andrea pregunta en la primera columna, Jennifer Marisol contesta, luego la segunda columna, Ivette pregunta, Oscar contesta, tercera columna, Josué Granados pregunta y Ernesto Portillo contesta. Action. Where do you work? In a hospital. Where do you do? I am a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Excellent. Very good. Vamos a la siguiente. Where does he work? Ajá. Uh -huh. Oscar, your microphone. In a hotel. What does he do? He is a manager. How It's, does he like it? It's okay. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go to the third, per, uh, third column. Where do they work? In a um, restaurant. What do they do? They are in water. How do they like it? They hire. All right, excellent. Thank you. Repita después de mi Ernesto. Wait, hey. Waiters. Waiters. Mm -hmm. Y esta, hate it. Hate it. Very good, excellent. Vamos con de nuevo, hacer las mismas pa diferentes parejas, all right? Con la misma dinámica, así que please take notes, anoten que le va a tocar. Eh, Moisés, first column, you ask, primera columna, usted pregunta. Beatriz Hueso, you yes. answer, usted contesta Beatriz. Luego, segunda columna, second column, Rebeca Enríquez, you ask, okay. usted permítame, Moisés, voy a terminar de asignarlos, all right? Segunda columna, quiere eh, Rebeca Enríquez, usted pregunta. Vanessa Scarlett, usted contesta. All right. Tercera columna, Julio. Julio, where are you? No lo encuentro, Julio. Julio Aguillón, usted pregunta. Y Yolanda, usted contesta. All right. Action. The first columna dice, where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I am a doctor. How do you like? I really like it. Very good, thank you. Good, good. Let's go to the next one. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. Third column. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They write it. They write it. How do they like it? They hate it. They hate it. They hate it. Yes, very good. Thank you, Yolanda. All right, everyone, let's check the following. WH questions structure. All right, preguntas con WH. Tenemos para iniciar WH word. Luego tenemos cualquiera de los dos auxiliares que queramos utilizar, do or does, plus subject, plus un subject pronoun, plus complement, plus question mark. All right, más el signo de interrogación. Ejemplo, where es una WH word, does es un auxiliary, María, subject, work, complement. All right, where does Maria work? 
listen up, claro está. Ustedes saben que en este caso work es un verbo, all right? And that's good. Y eso está bien. Aquí lo vamos a tomar como complemento porque hasta ahí lo terminamos. Lo mismo para la número dos. What, WH word, does auxiliary he, subject pronoun, do, complement, or verb, all right? So there you go, everyone. Let's please copy this structure. Copiemos esta estructura. Mientras tanto, voy a pedirle a... Let me check. Jennifer Marisol, que me lea la estructura. Please read the structure. En el cuadrito celeste. Yes. Eh, por estar anotando, casi no escuché. Right. Sería WH Word. Eh, w, WH Word. Eh, plus. Do. Das. Eh, plus. Su, su, Sub, subject. Subject. Plus. Complement. Plus. Plus question mark. Question. Excellent. Thank you. Pidámosle a Josué Granado que nos lean las preguntas, please. Where does Maria work? What, what does he do? Excellent. Thank you. All right. So far, do you have any question? Hasta ahorita, esta estructura, ¿les ha surgido una pregunta? Pueden hacérmela, right? No problem. No questions? All right, let's move on. Placement of adjectives in conversation. That's exciting. All right, let me check. We still got some, yes. Mm, sí, Moises, probablemente sea ahí por, por donde usted vive que la señal está fallando, right? A no ser que alguien más también me escuche entrecortada, let me know. Porque aquí donde yo vivo ya no está lloviendo, entonces tendría que estar bien la, se la señal y el internet. Pero si se me escucha cortado, me pueden avisar, all right? So, here we go. ¿Cómo, José? Perdón, eh, me iba a comentar que acá está lloviendo, pero sí se le escucha bien. Ah, all right, thank you, thank you. Sí, así veo que en algunos lugares está lloviendo todavía, horriblemente. Now let's check. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article A or an plus profession plus apostrophe plus job plus verb to be plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example in the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive. Now, this is the grammatical part, so we're not going to see this. Let's go on with the conversation. No nos detenemos mucho a ver la parte gramatical de nuevo, porque uno, ustedes la ven, y dos, yo aquí la explico, right? Las conversations sí se las pongo, porque a veces, Es bueno escucharlas más de tres veces para que se nos quede la pronunciation. Placement of adjectives in conversation that's exciting. Eso es emocionante. Literalmente eso significa that's exciting. Eso es emocionante. Right? Tenemos a Richard y a Stephanie. 
Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Let's check this. Hay palabras que podrían costarnos, right? Digo podrían porque, pues, sé que pueden ser un poco difíciles. The students are terrific. Terrific. No significa que los estudiantes son de terror o que son horribles, right? En inglés utilizamos esta expresión terrific para decir geniales, right? Por ejemplo, si yo digo, Oh, my P2 students are terrific. Mis estudiantes del grupo P2, o sea, ustedes, son geniales, right? They are terrific. There you go. Para eso utilizamos esta expresión. De ahí otra, Lincoln. Esto, no, esto es el nombre de la escuela, right? Lincoln High School. Lincoln High School. Teaching. Teaching math. Teaching math. Great. No podemos decir great. Aquí es, it's great. It's great. Things. Things. Firefighter. Firefighter. Exciting. No es exciting. No, exciting. Exciting. It's stressful. Stressful. Dangerous. Dangerous. Now let's check. Vamos a iniciar con Ivette Aguirre, please. Usted va a ser Stephanie. Francisco Martínez, usted va a ser Richard. Action. Hey, Stefan. Stephanie. I heard you have a new hub. Yes, I'm teaching math and Lincoln High School. Well, do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I am I'm fighting, fighting him. Now you call? That's exciting. Yes, but it's I'm very stressful how um, something it's dangerous. All right, thank you both of you for breaking the ice. Gracias a ambos por romper el hielo, right, in the conversation. Vamos, Francisco, repita después de mí. Yes. Here. 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 Job. Job. Uh, firefighter. Perdón. Firefighter. Firefighter. Uh -huh. Y la otra sería sometimes. Sometimes. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you, Francisco. Very good. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. I'm going to have Vanessa Scarlett. You are Richard. Beatriz Hueso. You are Stephanie. Action. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are you doing with you? No, but I am fighter, fighter. Now you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job and sometimes it's uh, dangerous. All right, excellent. Thank you. Very good. Thanks. Now, let's check. Tenemos algunas palabras. All right, espero que no se cansen porque yo siempre les voy a estar ayudando con la pronunciación. Uno, a mí me pasa el reporte de mis clases, all right? O sea, Insafor vigila mis clases y ven. Si ven que alguien quizás no pronuncia bien y yo no los corrijo, 
también eso está mal, porque mi deber es corregirlos para poder ayudarlos, right? Y sé que en la cultura salvadoreña que alguien nos corrija lo vemos como malísimo, right? Pero en realidad es buenísimo, porque nos ayudan a seguir mejorando como personas e intelectualmente. Now, espero que no se cansen de eso. Hay palabras, por eso les pongo primero la, el video. Este es el primer grupo con el que pongo primero los videos para que escuchen la conversation. Luego lo hago yo. Luego paso yo a presentar con alguien y por último ya los dejo a ustedes solos, right? Entonces, antes de ir ustedes, tienen tres prácticas. Tres personas básicamente que escuchan tres veces. So, tenemos, una, tenemos pronunciaciones algo pesaditas, podríamos decir aquí. No pronunciaciones, sino que las palabras son difíciles. It's great. La otra, exciting. Esto lo expliqué al principio de la conversation, all right? No es exciting, es exciting. Exciting. Luego sería sometimes. Sometimes. La pregunta, how do you like it? How do you like it? Aquí, yo sé que estamos acostumbrados a escuchar how are you, pero no podemos agregarle el sujeto que no tiene, right? El you lo tiene hasta el final. Entonces, aquí tenemos que decir how are things with you? Como está escrito, right? How are things with you? Vayan tranquilitos, right? Nadie lo lleva corriendo ni nada. Pero sí, tenemos que ir leyendo lo que está en la conversation. Let's go with Julio Aguillón. Usted es Richard. En, vamos a ver. Jennifer Marisol, usted es Stephanie. Action. Hey, Stephanie. I hear, we, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am a, a teacher at, uh, at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are ter 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 <laughs> terrific. Terrific. How are things with you? No, but I am a fire fire. No, you know. Uh, that's uh, exciting. Yes. But? but yes, but it's very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. Excellent, thank you, very good, great, excellent, right? Se fijaron. En algunas partes Jennifer la pregunta la agarró despacio, right? Con tal de pronunciar lo que está aquí, la agarró despacio y eso fue excelente, right? Lo mismo Josué, right? Se tomó su tiempo, quizás. Sentía que se iba a equivocar, pero se tomó su tiempo, right? Para decirlo correctamente. That's great, excellent. Good. Sí, uno tiene que ir midiendo sus niveles, all right? Donde pueda, uno va a parar. So let's go with the next one. La última pareja en esta parte, porque tengo que avanzar. I'm going to have Rebeca Enrique. Usted no ha pasado, right? No, en esta no. Ok, usted va a ser Stephanie o marcha con. Hi, Omar. Hello, teacher. Okay, usted va a ser Richard. Action. Okay. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I teach you at a Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things without you? Not, but I'm a firefighter now. You know, now that's exciting, yes. But it is a very stressful job, and sometimes it's a dangerous. Oh, me le puso a dangerous, y solo es, it's dangerous, Omar. Ah, uh, it's dangerous, yes, yes, it's very good. Y déjeme felicitarlo porque esas preguntas. Las hizo muy bien. Very good. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Now, Rebecca, repeat after me. Exciting. Exciting. Mm -hmm. Y esta. Esta es, es terrific. Terrific. Ajá, suena esa. Esa sí. All right. Okay. Y thank you, Rebecca. Very good. All right. Solo un consejo y esto es para todos. Hay una diferencia entre decir terrify a decir terrific. Right. Si usted me dice terrify, sí es horrorizante. 
o, o, o algo que da miedo, right? Pero terrific es la versión como genial, ¿ok? So we need to be careful with that. Una pregunta. Yes. Al inicio del párrafo dice, hey, ¿es hey o hi? No, es hey. Hey, es que hey es hola. No, hey es como, como lo decimos nosotros aquí en español. Hey, mira, vení para acá. O hey, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo te fue en tu viaje? Es okay. the same. Uh -huh. Hi es hola, que es H-I. Ah, okay. uh -huh. it's, it's different. Now, placement of adjectives. Dos estructuras que tenemos que manejar, everybody, all right? B plus adjective. El verb to be más un adjetivo. A firefighter's job is dangerous. A doctor's job is stressful. Esa es la primera estructura. Ya se la voy a mostrar la versión larga de la estructura. Esto como lo cortito, ¿verdad? Como el tema. Y luego tenemos adjective plus noun. A firefighter has a dangerous job. A doctor has a stressful job. Right? Let's ask, vamos a pedirle a Yolanda, léame las primeras dos oraciones, please. The B plus adjective. B plus adjective. A firefighter job is a dangerous. A doctor's job is stressful. Excellent. Thank you. All right, everyone. Ya voy escuchando algunas personitas que me le ponen la A antes del adjetivo dangerous. No lleva A, right? Remember, we can't invent the letters. No podemos inventarnos las letras, all right? We need to be careful. Tenemos que ser cuidadosos. Cuando yo aprendí a leer y me inventaba las letras, me decía mi papá, no, le estás diciendo a la persona mentirosa porque te estás inventando las letras. So we need to be careful with that. Tenemos que tener mucho cuidado con inventarnos lo que no está ahí. So let's go with the next one. Vamos con Karen Castro. Adjective plus noun, please. Okay, a uh, firefighter has a um, dangerous job. A um, doctor has a um, stressful job. Excellent, thank you. Les pedí eso de que tuviéramos cuidado con las A, porque en esta estructura del adjective plus noun sí hacemos uso de la A. Pero en la de B plus adjective, solo al principio vamos a utilizar el artículo indefinido. Veamos la primera estructura, guiding structure. Let me make it bigger. Article, eh, le vamos a poner el temita aquí que sería B plus adjective. All right. Esa es la primera estructura. Tenemos article A or N plus profession plus apostrophe. Des mencionamos el apóstol, all right? En inglés es apostrophe S plus verb to be, plus adjective. Y tenemos los adjetivos que podemos utilizar. Adjectives. Boring, que significa aburrido. Easy, que significa simple, sencillo, fácil. Dangerous, que significa peligroso. Exciting, que significa emocionante. Difficult, que significa difícil. Y stressful, que significa estresante. Right? So let me ask Julio Guillón, please, can you read the structure? Me lee la estructura. Article A, no, A o A. Plus profession, plus apostrophe S, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Excellent, sir. Listen up, everyone. Si de vez en cuando me escuchan que aquí digo A or N, no hay problema, right? La pronunciación correcta es A o también puede ser A. Cuando ya está en forma de artículo, usted va a ver aquí en los ejemplos guías, ya no se dice A lawyers, ya decimos a lawyer's job, right? Por eso, si usted ya quiere decir aquí A, está bienvenido. En el video vieron que decía A, right? Si usted quiere decir A o N, it's okay. También es bienvenido. Now, let's go. Ernesto, léame los adjectives, please. Adjectives. Boring. 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 Airs. Easy. Easy. Danger. Danger. Uh, exit. Exiting. 
Exciting. Exciting. Uh, difficult. Uh, esta no la veo muy bien. Stressful. Stressful. Yes, very good. All right, everyone. Y terminamos con esto, los guiding examples. Yvette, ¿me los puede leer, please? A lawyer's. A lawyer's job is hard. A waiter's job is difficult. Excelente. Notaron ahí que Yvette leyó esas S, las pronunció, las la vio, las leyó y las pronunció. Eso es lo correcto, right? Esas S están ahí por el apóstrofe S, que significa posesión. No podemos quitarlo, no podemos comérnoslo, no podemos hacer omisión. Tenemos que ponerlo y pronunciar. All right. All right, my beautiful and dear students, that's pretty much it for today's class. Lo dejo para que puedan trabajar un ratito en la plataforma, all right? Ya recuerden que mañana hacemos el midterm exam. And that would be pretty much it. I'll see you tomorrow, all right? Bye, take care. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Have a good night. Bye. See ya.